So you are at home and you want to read a good book, especially a self-help book, but you don't know which one to choose. With. In this video, I will be sharing with you a few self-help books that you need to read while you are at home, especially during this pandemic time. The first book is Ikigai. I think most of you would have heard about this book. This is one of the most loved self-help book in the recent times. This book mainly revolves around having a purpose in life and it shows us a lot more about the Japanese culture and Japanese lifestyle of living. And this book is really good. I actually did not read this book rather I listened to the book on Audible and it was a pleasant beautiful experience for me it talks about the particular place where people live more than 100 years the whole experience of this book is really good it has a peaceful way of conveying the story and you feel lot peaceful after listening or reading this book if you are someone who wants to read have a beautiful alone time and if you are very much frustrated with the life and you are very much overwhelmed with what is happening in this world i think this book will be a perfect companion for you So the second book is Win Your Inner Battles. This is written by a blogger and this book doesn't have a paper format rather it has a ebook and uh, I read it on Kindle and it was a really good experience. It has a blog style storytelling which most of blog readers might love this book and it has a lot of things that are simple and yet very much powerful it has a list and point based explanation which might be very helpful and mainly this book revolves around dealing with fear and lack of confidence if you are someone who is dealing with fear or lacking confidence in yourself and you are not sure about yourself you are not much confident enough and if you are looking for a good book that pushes you much harder to do things to get more work done or to focus on your work then i think this book will be the perfect choice and this is available for prime reading so if you are a prime membership then you can read this book for free The third book is The Monk Who Sold His Ferrari. I think this is the best self-help book of the decade because it released on 2013 and it is still selling hundreds of books every day across the world and it is also on the top of the self-help book list on Amazon. Coming on to the aspects of this book, a lot of things in this book are more related to spiritual and mental aspect of well-being and it takes us dive into the lifestyle of being a monk and monk's lifestyle and mainly Himalayan monk's lifestyle and the routine that monks do it in every day to keep themselves calm composed and relaxed and this book lets you self introspect about your life who am i what am i doing and what is my purpose how do i keep motivated every single day how my daily routine should be all these things will pop up in your head while reading this book and this is a pleasant reading and you will enjoy the reading and it has a deep way of connection to this book and it is very simple book if you are more into a spiritual approach to your life or a mindful approach then i think this book the monk who sold his ferrari will be the perfect choice the last and the final book is the subtle art of not giving f i think most of you especially teenagers would have heard about this book this book has spread widely across in a very short span of time this book really attracted the young audience young readers to the self help category and uh, this book has a new approach to the life a new approach to the self help style of writing and this book mainly talks about the current main problem that is dealing with the worries how to stop worrying and talks about problems rather than the improvements that you can make in your life uh, title headings and the subheadings are all very much attractive the style of storytelling is a simple uh, talking style a slang which a teenagers use you will definitely love this book if you are a teenager and there are a lot of uh, arguments about this book of some of the things that is mentioned in the book that might be arguable but most of it are very much helpful to us so i highly recommend this book and this book is not much philosophical it won't drag you much it focuses mainly on the heart truths so just read this book you might not like this book but you won't forget what are the things that is written in this book so these are the books that 
recommend for you to read during this pandemic or while you are at home if you haven't read in a while and if you want to get into reading then i think any one among these books will be a great start you can also check out my blog post about these books where i have broke down the review in a simple point based format so that it will be easier for you to judge which one to read with and you can also buy it from there so link will be in the description and also you can check out my podcast you can listen about self improvement self development personal growth productivity and minimalism and lot more other than this so that's it for this video if you like this video hit that like button subscribe if you aren't already and i will see you in the next video until then bye bye take care See you in the next video.